The cloud has become many users and admins default backup solution for files and folders. For some users, this makes it incredibly easy to store that data on a remote server. But what happens when you have local data you want to sync to one or more of your cloud accounts? Or to a local FTP SSH web dev server? That's when a tool like Duplicati comes in handy. With the cross-platform, free, and open-source Duplicati tool, you can have many backups that work with FTP, SSH, WebDAV, and cloud services, such as OneDrive, Amazon Cloud Drive and S3, Google Drive, Box, Mega, and more. Even better than the ease of backup, Duplicati encrypts all data, so your information is safe from prying eyes. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing and using Duplicati. I'll be demonstrating the installation on elementary OS, but the usage of Duplicati is the same whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. And with that said, let's install and set up a backup. In order to install Duplicati, you must first download the necessary installer file from the Duplicati download page into your downloads directory. Next, open a terminal window and issue the commands cd space tilde forward slash downloads, sudo space dpkg space dash i space duplicati star dot deb. After the installation finishes, start and enable the Duplicati service with the following commands. sudo system control start Duplicati, sudo system control enable Duplicati. Open a web browser on the machine you just installed Duplicati on and point it to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8200. Click on the add backup button and walk through the steps of naming your backup, giving your backup a passphrase, selecting the backup destination, selecting the backup source, setting a schedule, set retention rules. That's it. You've just created your first backup with Duplicati. You can now go back and create more backups, so you can have multiple local directories backing up to multiple destination sources. Because Duplicati is not limited to cloud backups, you can even back up your desktops or servers to an in-house SSH, FTP, or WebDAV server. Now that's flexibility.